Morning y'all, welcome back to the channel. It is another beautiful day here in Washington State. I'm bringing you more of a fishing centric video today. Uh, it's been a while since I've done one. I know I'm not out fishing, but it does have to do with fishing, so uh, I figured that counts for something. Alright, let's dig right into it. MTB Pro Bass Box for the month of December. First thing we see is our bait card. Breaks down all our baits and what they retail for. We get some stickers, which are the throwback stickers this month. Really like these. Couldn't decide where to put that. We've got our Dibbles Digest, gives us some tips and tricks. Puzzle, word search, um, maze. Yeah. Alright, so let's get right into the meat of the box. We're going to start out with the first thing I see, which is some hooks from uh, Eagle Claw. These are some Featherlight finesse hooks. Now, at first glance, I thought these were your standard finesse hooks, um, like what you'd use for drop shotting, which I guess you could use these for drop shotting, but uh, they are very small EWG hooks. See if I can get the camera to focus in on these. <coughs> yeah, look at those. Don't know what I'm going to use them for yet. If you have any suggestions, drop them in the comments below, um, please. Because I, I don't know, maybe I'll get imaginative, but um, I just don't know what the heck I'd use a mini EWG for besides a really, 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 really small Texas rig plastic or something. Help me out, guys. Alright, moving along in the box. Some cotton cordell. Uh, we've got a loveless crankbait. Not too stoked on this one. They make pretty uh, pretty cheap chintzy lures, cotton cordell in my experience. And uh, just looking at it, the hooks and everything like that. Doesn't look like the nicest bait, but um, yeah, let's move on. From Dobbins, we've got a half ounce jig. This jig's pretty cool. Got a 5 watt EWG Gamakatsu hook on it. It's got a really, really nice uh, barbed trailer keeper on there. The line tie is integrated like right into the head. I don't know if that makes sense, but you can get a look at it there. Hand tied skirt. Real nice jig. Moving on. From Missouri, we have got another lipless crankbait. This one is the Rattlin' Vibe, I believe. Yeah, 5 eighths of an ounce. Now this one, this one looks a lot better than the Cotton Cordell. Take this guy out of the box really quick for you. That looks much better. Feels better. It's got better hooks. They're sticky as hell. Um, good split rings. Good sound. This is going to get thrown a lot. Very cool. Okay, looks like we're rounding out the box almost. From Yozuri again, we've got a nice little uh, jerk bait. some information right there. Now I'm not crazy about the fact that this is a floating jerk bait. I like suspending jerk baits. Um, yeah, it doesn't really tell me how deep it runs when you rip it. 
so I guess I'm just going to have to get out there and find out. Um, pretty good flashy color. I could see using this in some dirty water lakes around here. Got a couple in mind right now, actually. But yeah. And it uh, looks like this has got the same good components as um, the lipless. So. Last but not least. Hold on, quick sip of coffee here. Last but not least. The one that doesn't make any sense to me in this box this month. <clears throat> if you paused on the bait card, you'll see that the most expensive item on the bait card is $10.99. And here is what the most expensive item in the bait box. Here is what the most expensive item in the box this month is. Ready? Why? I don't understand it. Um, I get that people use fish attractant, but I didn't think it was all that popular. And to throw this in the box as the most expensive item instead of another, like, you could have put two more lures in the box for what this cost. That's my little gripe for this month's box. Now, um, I will say I've been getting Mr. Tackle Boxes for almost probably going on three and a half years now a long time and uh, I have almost never been disappointed in a box and I'm, I'm not disappointed in this month's box really I'm not you know there's a couple interesting items but um, all in all it's it's different tackle it's stuff you've never fished before so that's kind of the point of a mystery tackle box is to diversify your uh, you know your fishing profile as it were but uh, this one kind of threw me for a loop Definitely could have done without this, and um, you know, maybe thrown another lure or two in there. But uh, that is going to do it for this month's box and uh, this month's box unboxing. I hope you enjoyed these videos. I hope you enjoyed this video. Y'all tend to enjoy these videos, um, it appears. So I'm going to keep making them every month that I get a box. Hope you enjoyed, and um, Hope to see you on the water in the next video.